thank you for watching my video blog. I'm Melinda Elmer and I'm with Keller Williams and I'm here today to answer the question that I've been getting a lot of lately. A lot of people who already own homes want to know if you're going to buy another home, how does that work? Well, there's a couple of things that we have to look at and you know, if you are interested in this, I'll obviously go through it, your individual situation. One of the first things to look at is <clears throat> are you going to be selling your current home or are you going to be renting it out and keeping it as an investment property? <clears throat> now, if you're going to sell it, then there's a couple of different options. Generally speaking, in today's type of market, you want to have your house in escrow before you can really make offers on another home. <clears throat> now, obviously, if you need to see what's out there, we can work something to make that happen for you. And yet, at the same time, nobody will take any offers seriously until they know that your house is sold on the other end. So in order to do that, we have a couple of different choices. One is you can put your house on the market and make it contingent upon finding a replacement property. Or two, you can sell your home and then rent back from the new homeowner for a certain period of time, usually 30, 45, 60 days or so, or maybe even a little bit longer, depending on the situation. And um, you would basically rent back from them at their daily cost for the home. Now after that, um, you also could possibly move to another location if you have a friend or a family member in the area on a short-term basis or move to a month to rent rental situation after you sell that home. So we'll have to talk if you're, this is something you're thinking about, about which option may be best for you. Now, let's say you want to hang on to that property. It's been a great property, you want to rent it out. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure is if you're going to do that, you need to have at least 30% equity in the home or the lender will qualify you for both mortgages. So you'll have to qualify for the payments for both and it will have to fit into, your, into the ratios that they use to qualify you. So, uh, if you have less, if you only have like 10% or 15% equity in your home, either you'll need to buy the, home, the mortgage down and pay it off a little bit, or qualify for both mortgages, or if you do want to make that move, you may need to sell that home in order to make that move happen. Whichever decision will help you make the right one based on your specific circumstances. So if you know someone who's been wondering this or who's asked you this question, forward, share, with your friends and family and have them give me a call and I'll be happy to help them out. My number is 562-316-2915 and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks so much.